Welcome to Azadi Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple multiband sidechain rack in Ableton using the stock plugins. If you like this video, like and share, and remember to subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future videos. Here's a little drum and bass loop I've put together. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how I used to do my sidechain compression. I used to use the Vengeance multiband sidechain, but that costs about £100 or $120 for those of you in the States. So I'm going to grab the transmitter and drop it on the sidechain trigger track. Then I'm going to drop the multiband sidechain on the bass track. We're going to switch over to audio mode. I'm going to bring the high band sidechain down and play with the split frequency to adjust where the low and high split is. So we're just sidechaining the bass. We can get the same result with stock plugins in Ableton. In fact, with more control over our frequencies. So first of all, I'm going to grab a multiband dynamics effect and then we're going to add it to a group. Open up the chains and we're going to duplicate this first chain so that we've got three. Then the top one high, the middle one mid, and the bottom one low. And then we're just going to solo out each of the frequencies. On high, we're going to solo the highs, mids, the mids, low, lows. Multiband Dynamics does have its own sidechain function, but we're not going to use this. We're going to use the Live 8 compressor. So I'm going to drag the Live 8 compressor onto the low band, the low chain. I'm going to open up the sidechain, choose a sidechain trigger from the audio from and just set this up a little bit So as you can hear, all we're doing is sidechaining the bass out. And now what we can do, we can go over to the mid section. We can sidechain the mids a little bit. And we can do this independent of the sidechain we've got on the low, because we've got a whole new Live 8 compressor. So we can change the settings a little bit from the low compressor. And again, what we can do is the same with the high. We can slap another Live 8 compressor on there. Sidechain from the sidechain trigger. Set it up a little bit. And we're just going to get it sounding nice. We don't want too much sidechain on the mids and the highs. Just want to give it a bit of a pumping effect. So now what we can do with these, this audio effect rack, if we delete these compressors off, we've now just got a, an effect rack there with the split frequencies that you can save for later. Or if you want, what we can do is grab a Live 8 compressor so they're all reset, slap one on each of the chains, Then what we can do is save this audio effect rack as a preset to use again later. So now we can just drag that preset in and we've got a multiband sidechain rack ready to go whenever we need it. So that's a really quick and simple way to create a multiband sidechain rack in Ableton using the stock plugins. Thanks for watching and if you like this video remember to like and share and subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future videos. See you next time.